it happen in Carter. Yeah. It could happen. just add up like that if it's scratchy yet then you gotta do what you gotta do right yeah can't always do the hot and heavy sometimes you gotta scratch through them to get a trip going so so we got a pretty decent hit on some rockfish just kind of went right from our codfish spot to our to uh, patch of rockfish so yeah nice little blast of them it's probably around uh, 40 fish. So, nice little hit. We'll clean these guys up. Go around, hopefully, do it again. Get on us here. Lay these guys up for dinner. Not sure how we'll cook them yet. Maybe we'll fry them. Definitely gonna make a little bit of ceviche out of one. So please excuse my flame skills. I don't do this for a living, so. In this and then we'll just come back in and check for any bones they just be right here this is I didn't really lose any meat right there it looks like it is but it's all just rib bones right there so that's generally how the cut is so we'll come back in here and trim this up a little bit remove the skin basically just want to get in next to the skin right there like that and hold it with your finger once you get it started you can grab onto it like that. Some people take a knife, hold it with a knife like that. Just kind of want to do a light sign motion, holding your angle or your blade at a slight angle. Not to cut into the skin, but just to stay on the skin. And you get a nice fillet like that. This has got some of the darker meat on it. Personally, we don't really care um, some people go for like it's a, a deep skin which removes this this redder meat but this has got a lot of the good omega-3s in it and stuff so it's more healthy it's a fat layer so yeah um, I guess this is clean so no yep. worries pretty simple process Nice fillets. Very so nice. when we get back home, we'll just 
trim these up a little bit make sure there's no bones you can feel a bone right in there from one of the rip bones so you just just do a real light little V cut right there along that feels like I just show it remove not really removing very much meat right there the rib bones don't go back very far so there's no need to go real deep back into that fillet to get rid of the bones just a small little bit like that just like that very nice trim these up a little bit right there We'll just give these guys a quick rinse while we're down here. And we'll take them home and get them all trimmed up. They're beautiful fillets, nice there. and white. So we just gotta trim the fat off of them. But yeah, mm -hmm. delicious. Nutritious. So today we're gonna start a, a new series, uh, Catch, Clean, and Cook. It's just gonna be basically us harvesting the fish off our vessel, cleaning it, and bringing it home to prepare it for you the way we like to for our family, so. We're gonna make some ceviche for you today. So ceviche is kind of a, a no-heat method of cooking fish. It, it utilizes uh, natural juices, um, acids and lime. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's an orange. <laughs> so, yeah, so it utilizes the the natural acids in, in orange, uh, lime, lemon. Yeah, it takes about four hours or so to, to um, I don't know if you call it, well, it is cooking it, right? Yeah, it basically cooks the fish. Mm -hmm. yep. You can eat it on chips or crackers. Yep, you can uh, maybe toast up some, some bread, like, oh, like some French bread cut thin, like a crostini. Uh, probably pita pockets would work great. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, pita bread. Pita bread. Okay, so the star of our dish is rockfish. This is what we caught on our last trip, and we'll include a uh, clip in the video of us catching and cleaning it. Um, any kind of white fish will work fine for this, this meal, for this dish. Uh, cod, halibut, rockfish, salmon works great too, so you have a lot of uh, different types of fish that work really well for ceviche and gives a lot of variety. Some of the other ingredients is cilantro, orange, and garlic. Yeah, um, avocado, uh, lime, that's what we'll be using to, to cook the fish with. Um, some red onion and tomatoes. Any kind of tomatoes are fine, we're just going to use some romas. And what else do we have? Cucumber. Cucumber. So that's the main ingredients there. Um, we'll put a, a link in the description and also on the video of the recipe that we're using, the ingredients and how to prepare it. So this is all pretty well trimmed up already. I think I'm just going to use the, the tail portion of this because the uh, thickness is, is more consistent through it. And then as it goes through the cooking process, what you want to do is just like pick out a larger chunk, you know, maybe a couple, three hours into the process and you can cut it open and, and we'll show you the, the difference. And now as the, the flesh is kind of clear and translucent as it as it cooks, it'll turn white, and so when you cut it open, you'll be able to see if it's cooked all the way through. Okay guys, so we got our fish all cut up. It's just cubed, about half inch chunks, so we're gonna add it to our, our bowl here. So this is about three quarters of a pound, right there, pretty close to it. We're gonna add the lemon juice, I mean lime juice until we get it covered. We ended up just buying a bottle of uh, lime juice. 
and we didn't have that many limes on hand, so we'll just use some bottled lime juice, that's fine. And uh, another ingredient that we failed to mention is serrano pepper. Um, you can use jalapenos, serrano peppers. If you're making this dish for people that don't like spicy food or kids, uh, you know, you can substitute with a bell pepper, red, yellow, green bell peppers, all work fine. Any kind of pepper, really. Mm -hmm. I like the serranos because it's just kind of a, a quick burst of heat, but it fades quickly. It doesn't linger for a long time, like even a jalapeno. Okay, we're just going to add a little bit of sugar here, not too much. You can also use orange to sweeten it slightly. A little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And we'll put it in the fridge for probably about three or four hours. After it's finished cooking, we'll drain off the juices and we'll add the rest of the fresh ingredients. So yeah, you can see that these pieces are already starting to, to turn opaque. We'll cover this, we'll put it in the fridge, and uh, we'll bring you back in a few hours. We're just gonna dice up some red onion small here. Got some garlic. Smells good. Should we check the fish? Yeah, let's take a look at the fish. See how it's looking. So the outside is turned white now and the inside is still translucent so that can probably cook a little while longer. I probably could have cut these a little bit smaller because they really do puff up quite a bit in the lime juice. You can see these pieces look quite a bit bigger than they did when I cut them so I guess bear that in mind. But no worries so we'll just let this stuff cook a little bit longer and then we'll drain it off before long and just mix in the rest of our ingredients. So we'll just stem and seed these serranos. All right guys, so we're getting the cucumber here, taking the seeds out as best as I can. Cool as a cucumber, right? That's right. Okay, some tomatoes. I'll grab a bowl, I'll grab a little bowl to put them in. Pretty little dice on them, huh? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, okay guys, so we got all the ingredients cut and prepared, so we have our, our rockfish marinating in the lime juice, uh, some fresh chopped cucumber, red onion, cilantro, garlic, serrano pepper, and tomato and then the last thing we'll add is just some uh, diced up avocado and probably add the cilantro last too and that's the basic ingredients um, if you want you can add a little bit of olive oil uh, radishes diced radish goes in a good we're going to take a look at this see it's a nice white texture and yeah it's cured all the way through so this is ready to go so we're going to go ahead and drain this off, the extra liquid in here, and uh, while I do that, Anita can start chopping up some cilantro and avocado. Alrighty. And we'll add those last. So this fish is all ready to go. Looks nice. So we're just going to toss these ingredients in. and. We'll just stir them in. Got our cilantro and our tomatoes. We'll add in the cucumber and red onion. I'm just going to use maybe about half of that. And cut up too much, I think. And then some garlic and serrano peppers. And I'm just going to do the same on that too. I'm not going to add all of this. Probably about half the garlic and maybe about half of the peppers for now. And we'll see if it needs a little bit more, we'll add it. Let's give this a nice toss. And then we're gonna put this back in the refrigerator for an hour or so and just kinda let all these delicious flavors 
melt together. Okay, well, I need to stir that in. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to the winners of our 10,000 subscriber giveaway. And so we had uh, two prizes, a copy of the Alaska Young Fisherman's Almanac and also a Japanese glass float. <clears throat> and the winner of the Alaska Young Fisherman's Almanac is Dale M. from Muskegon, Michigan. So we'll be getting hold of you and sending this on its way. And also Matthew H. from Lock Haven, uh, Pennsylvania. And he won the last float. Yeah, so we'll get a hold of you guys via email and uh, make arrangements to ship these off this week to you guys. So. Congratulations. Congratulations and just a huge shout out to all our subscribers and all our viewers. We really appreciate your support over the last year. All your comments, all your likes. It's great to get some feedback from the YouTube community and, and we appreciate your support. Thank you everyone.